All right, let's let's discuss in a little more detail our graph set look like this. Um, there's nice uh, digital ones in the in the Google Collaboratory associated with the class. So up here we have uh, ideal gas like uh, behavior. That is as the volume the, the molar volume increases the pressure uh, decreases and so uh, that's something you'd expect if you increase the pressure the volume would decrease heading in this direction increasing the pressure each one of these lines corresponds to a different temperature and uh, these are called isotherms so there, these are different lines of pressure and volume from an equation of state when the temperature is held fixed. Um, you'll notice there's a shape change here. I want to point out some points. There's a point here at which there's a, uh, where this isotherm has a region where the pressure and volume um, a function uh, becomes flat. Then you have these down here where there's clearly um, a minimum and also a, a, a local maximum um, on these curves. Uh, as you see uh, with these uh, darker, let me just change the color to make that clear. So the, the follow the red dots is where there's a minimum or maximum or at least a region where the derivative um, at these points is equal to zero, where the partial pressure, not the, part, the, the change in pressure over specific volume at an isotherm at constant T equals zero at those points. Um, uh, there's, there's another set of points on here where uh, the second derivative also uh, becomes uh, zero uh, at constant uh, temperature. Um, and a common, by, by looking at these different regions of this behavior, you can start to understand what's happening. This point right here that I've highlighted in red uh, occurs on the isotherm where T is equal to some TC. And everything to the right of that in this region is T greater than TC. Everything to the left of that is T less than TC, where TC is known as the critical temperature. And this is defined temperature, where the first and second derivatives uh, of pressure with respect to volume uh, at constant temperature is equal to zero, as well as del squared pressure, del V squared uh, equals zero. That is, there's a region here where the inflection point and the, the, the maxima slash minima converge all onto a single point. And the pressure volume curve where this happens occurs at this, this critical temperature um, that is defined by having a point that has uh, those two features. Now, what is happening for T less than TC? For T less than TC, there are two points, points where the pressure, the volume at a constant temperature is equal to zero. So I'm highlighting those uh, in red here. So that's obviously where the derivative is equal to zero. It's a maximum or a minimum. So the derivative of this function becomes zero at those points. Those points are important, and they will really help us to understand um, the behavior of, these, uh, the, of this system. Uh, what is interesting about this is you'll look, notice on lines below this temperature, this critical temperature, there are regions, there are pressures where the pressure crosses three times. We're going to learn in a minute that uh, two of them are stable and one of them is unstable. When you have a, a pressure that crosses your equation of state line three times, you'll have uh, P1, 2, and 3. Um, uh, in volume 1, uh, 2, and 3. Uh, the pressures are all equal, so uh, volume 1, volume 2, and volume uh, 3. This one is a very low density, very high volume um, uh, at that pressure, and this one's a very low volume at that pressure. 
So think about a material that occupies a very low volume versus a material that occupies a very high volume that is the same material. This is exactly what the liquid phase is and the gas phase is. The gas phase is this term, these term pieces way over here where there's a very high specific volume in this instance because it's V under bar, but a very high volume for a given amount of material. Whereas on the left-hand side here, you'll notice that as you increase, as you change the pressure, there's a very small change in the volume, um, but it's also on the very small side of the volume, which is a very high density. Thinking about the, the opposite of the specific volume is density. Very high density, very low volume occupied, occupied by that material. This is the, the liquid phase. And so this is where um, the value of the van der Waals in these equations of state comes in, is that um, it, captures, it captures the multiple phases. And we have to spend time um, figuring out how much material is in each phase and how the phases separate. And that's where this is all going. But graphically, you can see on these curves um, how for, a, for one given pressure, think about one system at one pressure, and you have one phase that's liquid and one phase that's vapor occupying the same container. Uh, it happens all the time uh, in your in, in your day-to-day -day, uh, life. You'll encounter it all the time. Lastly, we have a region where a temperature is greater than Tc. And whenever the temperature is greater than the critical temperature, for any given value of pressure, it only crosses each isotherm one time. These isotherms never come back up. They, they are just a monotone decreasing. So for any given value of pressure, there is only one volume. So this is a monotone decreasing, which means it's always decreasing. Uh, and for each, uh, for each, for each pressure, only one volume at each isotherm. So this is the this is the difference between uh, when you the below that critical critical temperature you can have multiple crossings. Um, and uh, for any given pressure, um, you'll have one, two, and three, for instance. Um, but for the higher volumes, um, for the higher temperatures, you'll only have one spot. So that's ideal gas behavior. So real fluids, real fluids really follow a cubic-like behavior where you have multiple phases. And two, all materials of interest interest have TC, PC, VC. Uh, by looking at where the TC, PC, VC are, we can really get an understanding about the generalized behavior of the, 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 the fluid properties, the material properties of these systems. Instantly you can know by knowing type of, by, by TC whether or not you're in an ideal gas-like region or in a more uh, in a region where you can expect to have two phases. Uh, we're going to use TC, PC, VC to get a lot more information out um, of this system and also use it to simplify our equations uh, in the next